Observer Wards by 15 minutes. I want to say Yang on that one. Highest total magic or pure damage done to heroes at game end. That's a bit tough, but that should still be... <laughs> XM. Teleports cancelled by stun by 25. This is always random, because you're just never sure. Zero is probably the safest Sorry. bet. I've seen a lot of zeros to 25. Team with the most kills at game end. See, Vici Gaming. There you go. Okay. All Thank done. You, there you go. Hopefully everyone's happy. Shout out to the viewers, by the way, that are tuning in. I realize it's quite early uh, for people in the uh, Southeast Asian and Chinese region. So, you know, shout out to you guys for tuning in and, you know, supporting your teams. Very, very good to see you all here. Very, very nice, uh, very, very pleasant uh, chat we've had recently, Jonathan, in the, uh, at least for the Chinese qualifiers, I might, I might add. Everyone just having a great time. Very good to see. Everyone's been enjoying themselves. We've been seeing some really good Dodo. What's not to like, of course. And True. we've also had... This is probably the spiciest I've seen the teams be, especially Yang. <laughs> <laughs> I love Yang. I love Yang. Uh, yeah. This guy is just such a degenerate. He's been spamming for the last two days. Like, holy crap, Yang. You can see he's it in even... his face. He's like, yeah, let's go. Spam it. Spam it. Giving us a reference back to the dead Yang strike, Jonathan. He just keeps playing on dying, which is very, very nice to see. Just really following by the uh, the old skit there from uh, from the old days. As we are going to have a couple of bounty runes. Two for two, I believe, is the trade, as Yang does take a fair bit of damage from these, uh, these fire spirits, but is going to be just fine. John, let's start with the mid lane because there, there's the best arcana in the mid lane right there. Not not the visage, you know the one I'm talking about, Mr. Observer. XM. Oh, look at that. What an arcana. What an arcana, Jonathan. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's, that's cool. perfect. That's perfect. All right. All right. Calm down, Mikey. Calm down. We're on stream. You don't have to go all out here. Uh, XM is leaning up against 7E, so again, they do shift the Visage towards mid. It does have a little bit more play with the Quap, and you can kind of run down. I mean, uh, honestly, in this kind of lane, I like what 7E's done. He goes for the Gravekeepers instead, so he does have a little bit more protection. He knows that he's probably not going to be able to build up as much Soul Assumption, so might as well just tank off from what XM might want to do in trading and, you know, emphasize the Grave Chill, emphasize that attack speed steal and move speed steal and just kind of work the lane as best as you can. XM should still be able to farm though and the Quap should definitely have a better time in reaching the water and power rune. So that is something S7E is going to have to watch out for. Until he hits six, it does feel a lot more passive for the Visage. Well, let's have a look at that top lane as well, of course. Yang on that Undying, going to be there with Erika against Imitator and QAQ. John, this could be quite a scary lane once again here for, for the side of CDEC. Mind you, you do have nice ways of escaping with the with the Time Walk and the Icarus Dive, but assuming you do try to commit those to make a jump in, Yang pops a couple of decays and a, and a Tombstone. It's not going to be too hard to take either of these heroes out on the side of CDEC, and well, it doesn't really go the other way either. Like, chances are Yang and Erika aren't going to die this laning stage. Yeah, it's going to be pretty hard to drop them low. You've got, you've always got the healing uh -oh. controller up down the line, Imitator. Yeah, he needs one creep for level two to have the Icarus dive, and he's not going to get it. Oh, that's so sad. He, how much XP was he? He was the slither of HP away. Oh, that's so upsetting. Bottom lane, oh, they're still going to fight it out as well. Undyne, well, he's channeling a stun. Maybe he can stun himself here, but no. Frisk is going to get him with the Enchant Totem. So the rebound back in with the stick charges. He's going to survive. He's going to man up. Rebound is there, though. This Marcy not backing up. In fact, BAB going to be careful. The sidekick lifesteal going to keep him alive as he turns right back heal. around. Although he's healing up. He actually heals <laughs> up. It works. <laughs> Little heal. I have never works. seen such a, I've never seen such a clutch little heal, dude. That was the most clutch. Like it's not even flashy. He just kind of waves around, heals up, and that's enough. You're very happy right now if you're Vici. I've I mean it's it's taken us what five years to see that heal actually become in clutch. It comes in clutch. It's big. It does. I mean, they buffed it to be fair. I mean, 100 health restored now for 60 mana. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah. It's a 60 mana fairy fire, but you know, still pretty damn good, honestly. It works out for him. Still has the mid lane going. I mean, XM currently dominating on the pop. Seven, eight last hits ahead. Having a very good game. Seven, eight kind of struggling. This Visage not having a good time whatsoever. And 
I, I guess the problem is no matter who you put mid lane with this kind of draft, nobody was really going to win the mid lane against this Queen of Pain. Yeah. No, no one will uh, hims out for uh, BAB <laughs> playing tag again. Uh, I think the interesting thing to see from 70 and, you know, going back to that mid just a little bit, he is going for a 2 0 2 build, right? And with what we said earlier, he is playing more passively, which means XM farms. But the one funny thing to watch is that Gravekeepers doesn't tick down when you have a DOT on. At least Shadow Strike doesn't tick it down. So he actually takes no damage from Shadow Strike, which nullifies this buildup from XM. At the same time, it doesn't matter because XM is still farming anyway. So the end result is this Visage is 12 to 3, while Quap is 21 to 7. And you'll need some recovery for 70 down the line. Dying trying to be a little bit cheeky to deny off the water room, but doesn't quite get there. XM still able to pick it up. 7E, actually, the. Uh... The player to put the most observer wards down so far, apparently. <laughs> so the mid visage taking all the observer wards here. Thanks for ruining all our predictions, Mr. Seventy. Yeah, we don't really appreciate it, but thank you so much for that. Ah, uh, it's early in the game. You know, we've got some time for the supports to start getting yelled at to drop their own wards. To uh -oh. the come. Nice stun out. Yeah, Frisk is not happy either, John. He had his prediction set too, and looks like they are going to try and punish this visage for trying to ruin their day. XM is going to be able to secure the kill. Very nice for XM. Obviously, a very tough mid lane already for 7e, and well, it's not going to get any easier as the uh, the level difference now going to go up even higher for XM. Yeah, it's just going to have a nice smooth ramp up onto that level 6. Every lane for VG actually going in her favor. Maybe the Doom lane's the slowest one. BAB is not quite in it, getting as much as you'd want him to on that Doom up against the Alchemist Marcy lane. So Xiang Yu is having a much better time, but it is a doom. He just kind of wants to farm to the Midas anyway. Everyone else suffering. Like QAQ having a slower start is actually more detrimental. Yang though in the spot of danger. A lot of Bash is coming out for Yang. He's still going to be just fine. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Frisk going to try and fight back against the Alk. Undyne might just die and will. Frisk still on the run. No spells available for this Marcy. He will land another stun. Rebound is up in two seconds, but Frisk is well out of range now. In fact, he has Fisher up in three seconds. He might try to turn this. He gets the courier first instead. So Brown Boots now are down and Frisk. He's going back in. He still has a Fisher. BAB, he's going to go for the man fight and try to bait it. Frisk is going to land the Fisher mid rebound. BAB, he's gone too far. Undying will show up and the wow does come out from Almasi. Why the hell not? Yeah, they, they finally managed to get it to work. It's it. Chang Yu's lane is the only one that's going well. He's top of net worth for his team, which if, if you're Marcy's number one, that just never sounds like good news for you at all. So you're going to have to really want to make use of that early start in Chang Yu to buy space out for QAQ to what? get some jungle space out. Let's build up. He bought another ward. 7E, he just bought another ward and he might just get taken down. But no, he's going to TB in the Ooh. Sonic Wave. Not going to be enough, but 70 did not TP back towards the fountain. Luckily, he does have Tranquils, though. So he is going to be able to reset just fine. Thing is, John, he keeps playing wards, but they keep Dyer's getting de-warded immediately as they are still hunting for him. They know he's around here somewhere. 70 oh? going to show himself. He just spawned the familiars. 70. Well, he might actually make it. Trying to duke them out, the tree line, the scream is going to connect, QAQ shows up, but he's only level 5 right now in the void. Meanwhile, Yang chasing down, doesn't have mana for another decay, he's still trying. <laughs> yeah. Yang, where are you going, sir? <laughs> Yang is going to drop, XM's going to drop. CDEC, they pick up two huge kills. I, I just don't know how. I don't know how they got the... I can explain to you. I can explain it to you very succinctly, Mike. They dive a little bit too far from VG. They do a little trolling, is what we say, or right. a little bit of trolling, as my stack says. Uh, they, they just got a little bit too enthusiastic, and that does uh -oh. give a lot of play out for CDC here. Well, thank you for explaining it so succinctly, Jonathan. I appreciate that. So, uh, VG Gaming. You know I can't help it, John, when you make a mistake with some words. I, yes. I can't help but point it out. It makes me laugh yes, every sir. time. And sir, I don't English too good. Please, sir, I'm sorry. My English not that good. I, you know, I, I'm i raised Hold in on. the Philippines. Oh, Marcy. Gonna get caught out, Frisk. Right from the backside does find him. And now the body blocks into the tombstone. They want the alchemist and they're gonna find the alchemist. He will die. Yang will pick up the kill with the tombstone. Beachy Gaming. 
Even after feeding those lives in the mid lane, they just don't seem dissuaded. No, I mean, even even with those um, deep dives on mid, at the end, they're getting way more off the map. Your Erica's just free farming up top. You've already got a strong start from XM. BAB's catching up. They're trying to push in onto the mid tier one, which you do want to do with Visage, and it does melt rather fast. And you do manage to chase all them. BAB in trouble. Frisk, nice fisher. Soul Rip is there from Yang. They'll try to help out as the body blocks now are there as well. No unleash available does mean they are lacking the damage, so the Doom is going to be just fine to walk his way out. And like you were mentioning, they were trying to chip away at the mid tier one tower, but XM, he's going to be around to defend this. 7E, he's going to keep trying. <laughs> does get the damage, but only half of its HP so far. It's pretty damn good considering it's just one hero kind of getting that push in. So you are tying in the Quap, you're ensuring that XM can't get a rotation out. With a Sonic Wave, he'd really love to find a pickoff in the side lanes, maybe join the down bot, but doesn't have the opportunity to do so. Is forced to just keep holding mid, three heroes mid now. Just trying to clear out this tier one and XM against three. And that tower should just fall unless VG drags more heroes, but it does feel like it's going to be too late. So, a nice objective for them to find on CDEC's side. Yang will show up to try to chip, but the tower's pretty much gone. Pretty much gone. The Familiars will get rid of it. Very nice play here from CDEC. Still, the Alchemist hanging around as well. Maybe just trying to look for a stun attempt. Hasn't managed to find one onto XM yet. Might be able to secure Yang, though, as they do slow him up. Yang, very far forward here on the Undying. Does pop the Fesh Golem, but looks like he is set to fall. Yang. Again, a very aggressive maneuver. Meanwhile, bottom lane, however, it's create. Oh, what? no. What? How does that work? Can I get a replay of that, please? Because I could have sworn. I could have sworn those creeps were hitting the Doom. Yeah. It, it, she, they didn't have aggro on Chang Yu and suddenly just dies to the neutrals? Like, the last minute aggro change? And that's. I mean, it looked like it was planned, though, with how Chang Yu was moving onto that camp, but. That does not feel good. That's Doom down from BAB. You lost your mid. You didn't manage to find anything else in the side lanes to compensate CDEC. They're starting to find a grip on this game. You know, they're starting to put some pressure. You still have this ins ridiculous start out for Erica, so you're still feeling good about that. And yeah. Look at these creeps. They shift. One shift. What? One courser just changed his mind. It's like, you know what? I'm going to ruin your day. I'm going to kill you. He, he canceled the attack animation as well. He switched from the Doom, turns to the Marcy, fastest attack speed I've ever seen from a Centaur. <laughs> the real Centaur doesn't hit that fast. How the hell is that one doing it? Ah, oh, I don't know, Mikey. I wish I could explain that one, but sometimes Dota 2 is, is, is what it is. Yeah, I'm dying. See you later. Oh, there we go. Another deny out from the side of CDEC. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, that, that's an actual deny, John. I'll, I'll, I'll accept that one. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I miss those self-denies. I, I don't understand why Alchemist gets to do it. You know, how about... Uh, well, I guess Abaddon was a bit busted. Let's be fair here. Free reset after expanding your man pool. But, you know, Pudge, deny. Please let me have that back. I want my Soul Ring Pudge games. I'm not griefing. I just want to die. John, it's if Abaddon's broken with miscoil on like a six second cooldown, what makes you think Pudge with a zero second cooldown on Rot isn't broken, sir? It's very balanced. Just uh, as compensation, I will trade away the Ags. I will accept that. Okay. Okay. We appreciate that. We'll, we'll put it into consideration. I'll send Ice Frog in a, a casual email, see, see if he'll accept for your sake, John. <laughs> Top lane, QAQ. Someone we haven't talked about very often does have the Javelin up now, looking to work on towards the Maelstrom. Frisk, by the way, on the uh, the Earthshaker, doing a nice job of trying to get that blink up. We'll have it in about 700 gold, but in the meantime, Roshan is happening. TDC, they've got the Visage. This is what they like to do. Yeah, it doesn't take too long. You've got uh, 25 plus 69 damage on one familiar every time side kicks up, I believe. So, you know, very nice, very quick to take the Rosh. Uh, of course, they will likely give that Ags up to QAQ. Are, are not. They give it to 7E instead, protecting the visage. 
And despite, again, this network disparity, it does feel like CDEC is the one to control the map a lot better. With the mid-tier one gone, with the top-tier one gone, they've been invading the jungle, they've been taking Roshan, they've been avoiding these major engagements out from VG's end, and VG, for their part, are still farming well, but, you know, your Doom isn't quite number one yet. With Midas Devour, you kind of want more out of that hero. Erica, the, the Morphling is free farming, but that is a Morphling against Boy down line. A good Chrono can still kind of throw you off here. G Gaming, still on the lead by 2k. Imitator, thank you so much for placing this Observer Ward, sir. Really appreciate it. I need those points. Thank you. It's uh, 70 Visage trying to ruin my day. How's everyone else doing? You see this Marcy with the Falcon Blade? You don't love to see it per se, but it does feel very good on the hero. Top lane, they're looking to try and make the jump in on Frisk. Frisk leads the map very well. Does back his way up. It's going to be fine. In the meantime, 7e is going to find Yang. Yang, he's he's died three times now in some very awkward positions, but that time around, he is kind of protecting BAB and just kind of tanking the game. Yeah, and you know, you, you know he feels good when he does all chat. He gets the stun out on Chang Hyu, though. But no follow up control. Just a rebound out. Double damage expended next time he wants this. I want it, but can they find it? He's going away and looks like he's going to be just fine. Just buying space. I think CDEC is doing a great job of just stalling out. Look, as this game slows down, for CDEC, they've got the scale. They've got the void. They've got the alchemist to gift everyone ags. And, again... Alchemist giving Ags does give a slight buff to himself now. He doesn't need his own Ags. He's going to have some Spell Amp. He's going to have some bonus damage. It's a lot better now to play that support Alc. Would I recommend you to play that? No. But it's not completely a network hole. It does give a little bit more. I'm wondering who they give it to. I feel like QAQ's Ags could be massive with his Shard. Uh, 7E's Ags is also really damn big. And those are pretty much all the big ones. I'm wondering who the priority is down the line. I think for VG, they shouldn't be too satisfied playing this farm game. Like, they need to be aware, like, yeah, you are getting a lot from your Doom and from your Morph, but the scaling towards late game is still scary. You do not want to have to, you know, end up in a game where you have to catch that backline void all the time before the Chrono comes out, because it can be tough. Uh, you can get some really good positioning here out from QAQ. Yeah, they're trying to mess around here with Erica. Meanwhile, mid lane, they are going to make the jump in. They found XM. That's a big pick off. Great setup here by our Marcy. In fact, they're going for a bit more now. Yang hanging around in the mid lane. T2 Tower is going to be safe. And CDEC looking much stronger this game, number two. Does take down the mid two tower by the looks of it. They'll try to defend with the tombstone. And in comes Frisk. He does have that blink up now with the Echo Slam available. But they are not grouping up. They are not grouping up here. They're not giving the opportunity over to Frisk. He doesn't really want to commit it on the Visage anyway. They will force out the cliff. They're going to be just fine to back off. They'll leave the T2 tower for now. Yeah, they've dropped it low enough that just a little bit of poke from familiar should get that done. Well, the Nai does come out from Erica. So at least cut off that gold, but immediately onto the top CDC goes. They've got really good forward wards watching the backside of that tier 2 area. So they know if VG decides to come in for a bit of a wrap around here. Smoke out from VG. I don't believe that was caught out by the board, although I think it might have, just on the edge. Scan is out. They know Yang's in the tree line. Meanwhile, towards the south, XM, gonna find Imitator. Icarus Dive is there. XM, not gonna be able to follow up. The stun from Frisk did not land either, so the Icarus Dive just right on time and undying. Keeps up with the, uh, the chicken sounds here from the bot lane, just... You know, supporting his team the best way he can as a, as a support alchemist, John, and that's voice lines. Yeah. As you tend to. Again, I, I'm trying to think of some really good synergies here. You know what would be really funny? You give the Ags over to 7E, you rebound off the invisible familiars. Isn't that nice? nice? That's, that's one way to have a very balanced game. That, that does sound rather balanced, John. Radiance I do like where you're going with this. <laughs> Yang? It's probably it. Yeah. I mean, the Unleash... The Unleash doesn't seem too bad with the Ags upgrade now. Like, especially at max level. Oh, in fact, speaking of the Devil, Doom is there. Looks like the, uh, the Marcy. It's a slow, slow, painful death, but it is going to be up. Marcy will burn alive. 
by BAB. I'm trying to say, John, the Ags upgrade for Marcy these days doesn't seem too bad. Like, minus 20 second cooldown, especially on the uh, the Unleash with the basic dispel. Feels kind of nice, especially at max level, it's a, a 40 second cooldown with the Ags up. Could be good, but it's not meme -y. I mean, giving Marcy Ags itself is kind of a meme, but, you know, like, the the changes to the skill just doesn't Radiant feel memeingful enough for me. I, I want to see something that's absolutely <laughs> hilarious here, Mike. It's got did you say? Easy. Did you say meaningful yeah. or memeingful? Who knows, Mike? Who knows? I don't speak English too good. <laughs> I appreciate that one, John. I'm trying to compliment you here. <laughs> I try, Mikey. I try sometimes. They make moves onto top. Tower is pretty much gone as well. Yank can kind of go for the deny. So it looks like he's just going to die. He's not careful. Well, Yang might die, but mid lane, they are making the jump into the Marcy, but a Chrono's out as well. Sonic Wave, Yang still running top lane. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Erika going for a fight, does Ooh. kill off QAQ. Oh, well, Yang does die, but it was all a bait. 70 even getting tipped by Yang. <laughs> they committed Chrono in the mid lane, and, well, it, it didn't work out to say the least. Nah, it... He didn't have the backup. They were all tied in for that push up top. And VG manages to punish Radiant's that split up really tower. nicely. They find a bigger trade. They are losing objectives on the map. That is still the worrying part for VG. Like, yeah, these kills are good. But you've got two lanes exposed now to the tier trees. And CDEC can just melt these objectives rather quick. So in, in terms of actually progressing in the objective of the game, uh, CDEC is in a very good position. But VG is... Still, you know, have, has a lot of room to grow on their scaling cores, on the Doom, on the Morphling. They do have, like, late game potential here as well. And gonna be keen to see when BAB, and if BAB does opt for something like the Refresh first, or the Ags first here on our Doom. A lot of options still available. It's starting to... Yeah, jumps in. No Doom to come out. We'll leave it at that. Okay. I mean, I, I guess the Marcy is quite fast, so, you know, don't want to waste your doom like that if you can avoid it. Yeah, just a bit of a warning shot. Oh, Undyne is about to have his eggs. We're going to see who is he going to give it to. I would like to know. It's boring. Ah, it's boring. He gives it to Kiwi. No. Boring. Boring. Does have the yeah, rewind. Time lock oh, no, it's, it's nice. Though. It's not even. No, he doesn't. Yeah. He has the AoEs done. <laughs> Marcy does get caught out in the meantime, John. They are able to pick it up. BAB to take the kill here on the Doom. Oh, AoE stun. It's just... It is what it is. Oh, you, you know, know the exciting part, though. You do get 20 bonus attack and 5% spell amp. Yo! 4,200 <laughs> gold for that and giving the eggs to someone else. Not taking a slot, wow. slot on anyone. Sounds good Radiant's to me. Amazing. Top lane. Imitate. He's gonna be all right, but scan was out. BAB, he knows he's around there somewhere. In fact, he scans again. Imitator keeps walking back into the scan. BAB, though, not confident. He will back himself out of there. Doesn't want to bother. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. CDC, 6k behind in terms of net worth, but still looking rather healthy throughout this game. It's all the early objective taking they did take with the visage. Certainly looks like it's been paying off as they do control a, a large portion of the map. BG Gaming, holding on to the high ground, 7E, he's going to walk right into them, but that's not the target they want to initiate on, 7E, he'll pop the drums and just run right towards them, but a nice fish to block him in, in fact, BAB, he'll make the jump in, the Visage in trouble, Doom was out, can he get a deny on his own, no he cannot, BAB, he'll secure the kill, Egg was committed, but it won't really land on anyone, there's no one dying, he's in trouble, on the Alchemist, he should drop, and will do so, Erika, Able to secure the killer's BAB, looking for a bit more. Has now found Imitator once again. Fisher is going to land, and that's going to be a third kill to go the way of Beachy. And sadly, they did walk into the Roshan pit, hoping Roshan was there, but it's still a minute and a half away for Beachy game. Be a little bit longer until that. Uh, up and running for both teams to take. Still, VG put themselves in a prime position to take control of that area, although you do still have these forward wards from CDEC. So they'll have a rough idea of when that rush begins as well, and they didn't expand as much. I mean, they did use the Supernova, but Chrono's still ready to go on QAQ. BKB at a decent enough pace here from our faces, Void. Still lacking gold for the recipe in the end. 
that should provide additional protection, especially while the Doom is down on BAB to kind of get work done for the team. I have to really see if QAQ with the Ags makes a massive difference. Like that AoE bash is good. I guess that prevents instant reactions out from VG, let's say instant stuns out from Morphling. I have instant waveforms out, which can be annoying if you're trying to just get that chrono control that they desperately need for these mobile heroes. And for VG's part, again, like you are trying to scale up against a void visage and Alex is still alright. Nice jump in from the Earthshaker. We'll find the mid visage once again. 7e. Not having as great of a game as he was just 10 minutes ago. Frisk with this blink just proving to be a real problem. They do look for the familiars as well. And eventually they'll find one. 7e. Eventually you're going to have to give up the second. And he will. Buys a little bit of time for his team though at least. Stalls out just a bit. Roshan is up. VG are in position to take the tier 2 first. So they really open up their angle here. For the Roche, there is another ward on the ramp, but that is going to be taken care of by Frisk. No. Frisk, Fisher, huh? BAB's going to back him up. They've got the Void locked down. He's got Chrono, but he's going to walk away. Frisk, still running. Sunray, rebound. That's a great stun in. The Marcy setting up. Yang, he's in trouble and probably will drop. He just drops the Tombstone before he does go down, but CDEC able to punish off the back of the offlane Marcy. Roshan is up. A big duel for CDEC now. They've even got Krona to play with this Roshan. Mind you, Sonic Wave Echo Slam is available. So they're going to pop the buyback here on Frisk. They want to force this fight. They are still the stronger team on the side of VG Gaming. They're just looking for that initiation. They burn Undyne first. Blow up the Alchemist. He's gone. Roshan solo. Eric is going to make the jump in. Waiting. There's oh. the Echo Slam. Frisk. He's in. They got the Doom out, the Void's in trouble, he is probably oh, gone, but no, the, the snatch. Snatch is out! Oh, they snatch away this Marcy! It's not going to allow the Aegis to go back the way of BG Gaming. Quick hands from our Marcy. She will drop though, and eventually will be completely surrounded by BG Gaming. See you later. Triple kill for Erika. They don't get the Aegis, but they get basically a full team wipe anyway. You can't be upset about that. Nah, you're, you're very, very happy on VG's end. It does cost a buyback, but a couple of buybacks, but it's on supports. You don't really care too much. And you nullify what might have been a C deck advantage anyway. If they did manage to cleanly take that Roche, they get the gold on VG's end. They take away the Roche on Aegis instantly. And now they've got the opportunity to look for more. For CDEC's part, at the least, you still have this. Uh, Chronosphere ready to go on QAQ, and he does have the shard now on top of that Ags. So you can kind of poke a lot more with the Ags upgrade on him. Can just kind of stall out for his team as best as possible. But for VG, lead widens up to 14k. Erica is starting to look like a beast. He is going for the butterfly now on that Morphling. And once you have that up, even a Chrono might not be enough to take care of Erica. Because you are very reliant on the right clicks. You know, the damage from Shang Yu does kind of taper off without something to pierce through that evasion. He is going for the Basher, though, to help control everyone else. We aren't seeing a secondary Ags and Undyne. So, just the one for now. But he is picking up the Shard. Which is something that, honestly, I feel like a lot more Alex need to keep picking up. Yeah. Sometimes it just gets completely ignored. Very useful in this game. Especially to toss it onto someone like QAQ. So you've got a lot of buffs coming out here for the void to do even more in the chrono and this is this does feel like it's almost reminiscent of game one mike where as this game drags on the potential is still there for c deck but it starts to rely on that high ground defense it starts to rely on that one big one big team fight spell and the follow-up in the chrono it's just it's a little bit tougher to pull off but you know it, it was also pretty tough to look for those big black holes in the last game CDC, big smoke up. Five man smoke. Keep in mind, all ulties are available for both, for both sides right now, so this could be risky. Yang, he's in position to break the smoke, but CDC, they're going to run around the long way through the mid river. In fact, never mind. Back through the staircase. They're in that radiant jungle. Yang, he's broken the smoke, so QAQ, he'll make the jump in, but Yang's playing with them right now. Just drops the tombstone. Soul rip out. This is not the kill you want. At least you get a tombstone. 
That, that's the one positive. At least you get the tombstone, which is really more valuable than the hero. Yeah, it's something. It's, again, not what you'd want to find. You're more than satisfied here on VG while they're farming elsewhere on the map and just getting what they need. Full butterfly up on Erica. Has the Titan Slipper as well, just to be sure. They are grouping up for a little bit of a mid-shove-in. Chrono is ready. Egg is ready. They do have good team fight here. Yeah, they're gonna try. T3 tower now under siege. Vici Gaming actually not around to defend this, so the T3 might just go down for free. Fortification is there. Wrap around from Vici. They're gonna try and sneak up from the backside, and QAQ is gonna rewind. Oh, the Chrono! Oh. He's at least caught Frisk. Frisk actually walked back into that one, I think. It doesn't matter. The Earth Shake is down. That's a dieback. So no Echo Slam available now. CDC, it's a 4v5 situation in their favor. Erika, still gonna man up and jump in. Might actually find the Marcy and does right into the egg. Erika doesn't care. Look at this Giga Chat. Undyne's gone as well. QAQ, he'll get doomed up. He's gonna fight, but there's no fighting Erika right now. Sonic Wave right through the middle. Triple kill for Erika. Giga Chad. Uh, he just comes in. He knows he's going to be very hard to kill with a butterfly up. And that evasion just saving him from a bulk of their damage. Visage would want to right click with a familiar. So look, you have some magic on hand, but you've got the BKB. The Void can't just focus in on you. The Marcy can't just focus in on you. And just run him down. He doesn't even morph. He doesn't even take that Marcy form for anything like sidekick rebound. He just stands there. Literally just, hey, I'm just going to right click over here, A move, and see what happens. And it works out. The Earth Second did indeed walk back into the fish, uh, into the chrono. And as you can see from the replay here, John. Erica, he just doesn't care. Yeah, Erica, no problem. Yeah, you got my Earth Shaker, so what? I'm the carry. You're going to deal with me, son. B A B. They are pushing mid racks and they do find it. VG Gaming now heading towards bottom lane as they fight breaking out yet. And we go now. XM to Undyne, but we'll dispel the, uh, the Shadow Strike and be just fine. Keep in mind, you've got an Echo available right now on Frisk. No Chrono up for our Void QAQ. Still 40 seconds away from that. Fish is there. They found the Visage. BAB, he'll jump in. Rebound is out from our Marcy. QAQ, he's going to try. They are grouping up quite a bit, but the BKBs are there. Now the Echo Slam. Frisk will jump in, but the damage, it's not there. CDC, though, they still need to run. BG Gaming, they are sustaining way too well. Zhang, he might die again. And he does, but it's all part of the dead Yang strat. He's fine with that. <laughs> Yeah, they back off from VG's end, force a couple of buybacks, and just they can just chill. Like, maybe not the best Echo in the world. Surprised that we didn't see more output for Pshang Yu when he did jump in with his BKB. Uh, didn't really manage to burst anyone down until the end. And with two buybacks down, CDEC is in a very awkward position. They will go for a smoke. Chrono is back up. Egg is back up. They've got their combination ready. They just need to find some big kills. And then maybe they could try to force into the high ground, force a couple of buybacks as well. Could be a good time to catch BAB. He just bought out the Ags. He does not have buyback gold, but he does have the AoE Doom ready off cooldown if C deck this. are unfortunate in that timing. Oh, it's so hard to get away from, dude. Like with the Shivers Guard as well on this Doom, it's so hard to walk away from the Doom now. Let's see what happens. They're going to stay away for now. I have Skadi coming out on Erika, so he's even more difficult to deal with. Uh, like, you look at QAQ's items, Johnny, it really doesn't have any damage. It's got Mjolnir, that's literally it. BKB for defensive purposes, fair enough. Speaking of damage, by the way, VG Gaming, they're about to walk into a double damage room. As is tradition, winning team, they'll find a DD. Oh, yeah. Erika. No. And the bottle, yes, all set. See that? I mean, they went out for that smoke. They don't find anything. They're holding their triangle high ground. Scan does not find them in the rush, assuming that it's up a little bit early, but it's still 30 seconds until we see the respawn timer. It's a little bit awkward for CDEC. It's back to that point. Just like game one, they need a good use of their team fight spells. We need to see that Chrono Egg. And once Chrono is down, the team fights afterwards just feels really tough here, depending mainly on Chang Yu to actually just stand a front line and. That's easier said than done right now for the Marcy. 
Yeah, considering that you really only have that PKB, nothing else. So the items just kind of stalled out for everyone on the side of CDC. Ricci, for their part, uh, they respect the side of CDC. They play it safe. Smoke again, though. They've got the ward you know, spot. What I'm really scared about here, in fact, hold that thought, because the smoke is going. BAB, XM, they're in position. They might be able to find that doom. But no, he walks away. Don't, what I'm afraid about is QAQ is working towards the Lincoln Sphere. But you've got the AOE doom. <laughs> yep. Doesn't matter. Just doom yourself Doesn't and you're happy here. Stun out. They've got Yang on the Undying. Yang's going to be fine. In fact, XM will jump, jump in and there's the AOE doom. Chrono is still going to come out in time. So you've got that going, but there's just no just damage. Away. There's no damage, John. They still find the Doom, however. It's still something for their trouble. Eric out. He's the big problem, though. He'll jump in again. The Morphling. This is the guy you've got to worry about. Right after QAQ. Look at this. Look at the damage. Oh, this is going to be a rampage, as they would say. Yang, get the voice line ready, sir. Get the voice line ready. There's your rampage out for Erika. GG's called. Yang, he's dropped the ball here, John. Double rampage oh, for Erika. <laughs> <laughs> Double rampage. I think Yang's got oh. the voice lines on cooldown. I think he's left oh, them on cooldown, John. A big mistake from Yang. Yeah, he's been spamming way too much, Vichy, though. Take, take this series in fairly convincing fashion. There's a lot of back and forth fights. Love that we close out there with a little Jiayo fighting, going forward, cheering on for Vichy to hopefully do well. Because you, you get to say, well, we lost to the team that's going... We, we lost to the team that's going to TI, so you know, nothing to really be ashamed of there, right? And...